Hi, this is Jezu. I'm in Merbisch at the stage, actually above the stage. This is the second day of rehearsals. I'm sweating here like crazy. It was really hot today. I think tomorrow and on the weekend will be even hotter. But now, basically what I'm doing is I'm preparing for the shooting for the for the booklet, for the program heft. So I want to see all the all the scenes, what is happening, uh, where the artists where artists will be positioned i mean the director keeps changing the the idea i don't know i just want to see it and i want to be the best as best as well prepared as possible for, for the for the major night on the 28th but now today we have a really nice day the sunset is basically occurring now roughly it's behind me so i want to get as you see now uh really nice colors so I have the sort of at the, above the ship, let's say on the top, on the upper deck, I have the last uh, sun rays. The sky is becoming from blue to purple and on top of it, I'm expecting in about also 40 minutes, half an hour, 40 minutes from now, uh, almost full moon rise. So I want to do some pictures with a wide angle and with a 70-200, which I already mounted. And uh, I want to take some pictures. Let's see how it goes. Of course, I'll be using the leaf filters the grads and the polarizer and uh, I have a 77 millimeters ring. Of course, cable release, especially if you have uh, such a long lens on the tripods, it wobbles simply. Let me take the hood off. Actually, tomorrow I'll record... Uh, uh, tomorrow I'll record something about a different hood type, which I also have from Lee, but for the time now... <coughs> now there is no direct sun, so I don't really need the hood. I just use it mainly for protection. I'm at the moment at the 70 millimeters. I will switch to wide angle. I will actually swap the lenses on both cameras. Polarizer is not, has not really much effect now, except really giving me additional color boost. So let's see what the camera tells me in terms of exposure. Nice. I'm just getting. I just. I have. I'm not sure where exactly the moon should occur, but it should be. Basically, it might be that it's just behind the this tower. But I will. So I might have to reposition myself. I'm at ISO 100 f2.8, and I'm underexposed. So so let's now go plus one. So I'm at the eight. So s let's start with six of a second. I'll go to manual focus. I switched off the stabilizer as well. I don't want to have a stabilization here. Let's put on the live view so I don't have to use the mirror lockup function. And let's take a shot. And it's nice. Look at the colors are fantastic. I have to really uh, use the switch later to the wider angle. Let me put the Two stops, soft grads. I just want to have slightly, really darken the sky. Let's do three stops, soft. <laughs> so we have a polarizer here. This new landscape from Lee, which is very thin, which doesn't really make any difference between the old one now on this lens, because I'm really I'm using the zoom. Yes, yes, it's a very subtle difference. But now I will open up to. One fifth of a second, and the colors are absolutely amazing. Yeah, I balance the bottom of the bottom frame, bottom part of the frame, with the sky. After every picture, I have to change the. So now I'm at quarter of a second already. I might put additional filter because the light is really different. So let's put another. So I have now I have three stops soft. Let's put another one and a polar polarizer in front. But the polarizer is really, let me get off this histogram. Polarizer is really, yeah, now look at those clouds. Polarizer is really just to make, uh, give me boost the colors. But with the wide angle, I have to be careful with the polarization. Yeah, I want to have, yeah, this is nice. So, half a second. I already pre focused, basically, I'm at infinity. And uh, let's take a shot. 
and now uh, it will get dark very soon. Oh, I like it. So we have the picture which I absolutely love it. The colors, I think the sunset is occurring. It might have gone, the sun might have gone. But look at those like purple clouds now. The sky is getting darker and uh, the light is balanced. And in any case, I still have this uh, three stop soft and, sorry, two stop soft and three stops soft grads and degrads and a polarizer. But the picture, this is a raw picture. And it looks awesome. Those leading lines of those corridors, those, those steps for, for people, uh, they, they lead exactly into the ship and here, which is basically sort of like just entered Venice. Here, Venice in Merbis. So Let's concentrate on the moon. And now I'm actually using Sun, sun Surveyor application and I'm just checking the moon rise. I mean, I'm not sure if I properly calibrated the phone but the moon should rise there it's a bit awkward angle and um, for this moon rise I think I'll go I'll move to another location because at the moment this is here it's not ideal as so I think for the time being I did the pictures which I was after but for the moonrise, I think I'll have to move to the other side here of Tribunes. So, let's go. So, I'm going to the very edge of the Tribunes here. Here I can see all the whole horizon. So, if the moon gets through the clouds, I will have it. They are still rehearsing. Perfect. Let's just hope for the nice moon. I am all set, framed. And uh, let's just pray for the moon. It's about 19 minutes from now. Let me take off the filters. Yeah. Without the filters is better at the moment. It's really just above the horizon. So we put on the lights here on the stage. It looks awesome. Let's take a picture. So eight seconds F8, ISO 100. Nice. What I want to do, let me switch the lenses. So we'll put this lens here. So we close up, yeah. Quickly focus. Before it's too late. Beautiful. Let's reframe a bit. So now I'm at 70. Yeah, now 100 millimeters would be both good. But it's still good. The moon rose, but it's already behind the cloud. But there was a moment, like two or three minutes, when it was almost like the full circle, full moon. And I think I got it. Unfortunately, I was, us I was using 1635 lens, so it's a bit wider shot. I didn't have now here with me uh, 7200. But come on, here, this place for the moon rise is fantastic. So it will happen again. I might do some pictures tomorrow. I will try to, 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 to do the same stuff tomorrow. Anyway, let me do some pictures down here on the stage with the lights and now uh, I'll get home and I'll do some post-processing. Till next time. <laughs>